What's up, everybody? We're here in downtown Phoenix talking to folks about the Final Four. I'm Blaine McCormick. He's Rob Werner. Rob, we met some pretty interesting people on this windy night. Who's your favorite out of all of them? You know, I got to go with the guys that were by the bar. They told me they were having a fantastic evening. One of them didn't even know who is playing in one of the games he's going to this weekend. He said that he thought Gonzaga and South Carolina were going to play in the national championship. Those guys were just having a good time. I had fun interviewing them. You'll see all of those guys and more. Street and Greet starts right now. I'm from Florida and I came here for the Final Four, which is a great event every year. Uh, Tracy and I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. And Ed, I'm from Hartford as well. Kenny, Spencer, Trey. JR, what are you doing out here in downtown Phoenix? You know what I'm saying? I'm just down here for the Final Four. So talking to Max here on the top of his monster truck. Max, are you excited for this weekend Final Four, baby? What more could you want? I'm pumped, man. Phoenix has held a lot of sporting events, but college basketball is definitely up there. Did you fill a bracket out this year? Under NCAA rules, I was not allowed to do that. You know, you give 110% all year, and you just hope you're playing in the Final Four, so we're proud of these guys. We want them all to win, but only one winner. Very excited. Did you guys get your brackets busted at all? So I just do the brackets to keep up with the teams. <laughs> that, that, I, I've got it in my hotel room, uh -huh. and I'll mark it till the end. Are you, are you excited now just to kind of get to be a fan for the next couple games and just kind of appreciate some great basketball on this play? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I grew up playing basketball myself, so I, I really love and appreciate the sport, especially this time of the year, because these college kids, they, they, they play like it's their last game. And, you know, you, you don't really get to see that all the time, so it's really good to watch. Who'd you have winning? Arizona. Where we at, man? <laughs> I told you that wasn't going to work. They ain't been in the Final Four in years. Well, you got to pick them because they're in there. Anybody can. It's win, one and done. <laughs> Who do you guys see in your final? Uh, South Carolina. Just one team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's take South Carolina and Gonzaga. Sometimes they're wrong. They actually they're play. They're playing each other. They play each other. Oh, South Carolina, Oregon. That's the winner. All right, no there you way, go. That no works. No way, no way. It's going to be Gonzaga, Carolina. No, they're both wrong. It's Carolina's game. I'm an upset guy. I'm like South Carolina, you know. One timers. Yeah. It would be nice to see some you know, one timers. I, I saw a statistic the other day that, you know, North Carolina coach has been there like 500 hours of Final Four experience, and the other. Three coaches, zero. And are you guys are you guys having a good time in Phoenix so far? Are you guys pumped for the whole weekend? Great time, great time, pump man. Love these guys. Nowhere I'd rather be. Honestly, uh, from Ohio, it's a little hot here. Don't like it. Just kidding. Phoenix rules. <laughs> <laughs> um, very excited. Very excited. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs>